The man convicted of killing Minneapolis grandmother Burdell Beeks will spend the rest of his life in prison. Joshua Zika admitted he was shooting in the direction of a rival gang member when one of his nine shots hit Beeks in her minivan in 2016. Today at the sentencing, Beeks' daughter sobbed as they told the judge how their family continues to struggle with their loss. Esme Murphy has our story from the courthouse. The baseline sentence in this case was never in doubt. Joshua Ezeka was convicted of first degree premeditated murder, which under state law carries a mandatory life in prison without the possibility of parole. The judge in the case ordered that photographers not shoot Ezeka's face or videotape the family's victim impact statements. Ezeka showed no emotion as Beek's daughter, Salisha, sobbed, saying, This monster put us through this trial. I would like nothing more than to see him die. Azika was not arrested until eight months after the shooting. Family members led a tireless effort to find the killer, putting up flyers and asking for help. Come forward and speak up. It's not snitching. After the arrest, Azika admitted to the shooting, saying he was aiming for a rival gang member and did not intend to shoot Beeks. Is there anything that you would like to say, sir? No, yeah. Ezekiel turned down the chance to speak at the sentencing, both in court and afterwards, Salisha Beeks made an appeal for an end to gang violence. The shooting has to end. You're shooting for a reason that you don't know, for land that doesn't belong to you, and you're putting innocent people in the way of your fire. At the sentencing, Ezekiel's defense attorney asked the judge to throw out the verdict and declare a mistrial. He argued that Ezekiel never intended to kill anyone. But the judge disagreed, saying the jury in this case found him guilty. In Minneapolis, Esme Murphy, WCCO 4 News. Because Ezekiel's conviction was for first-degree murder, his case will automatically be appealed.